Hello! This video is a quick tutorial on finite mathematics. In this video we are going to be looking at sizes of sets. This is a subsection of sets, partitions, and tree diagrams. This corresponds to section 1.3 in the book Finite Mathematics by Daniel P. Mackey and Maynard Thompson. This is something that you typically find in the first couple of weeks of a finite course. I know it's taught in the first one or two weeks of M118 at Indiana University. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to go ahead and go through a problem that one of the instructors recommended. This is problem 31 in section 1.3. And the first thing we're going to do is just read through the problem. So let's see what it says. Data, including geographic location, city size, and marital status on 200 recent graduates of Gigantic State University are collected by the Alumni Association. The results are as follows. 108 live in the West. 86 live in a large city, 68 are married, 41 live in the west in a large city, 23 are married and live in a large city, 19 are married and live in the west, 12 are married and live in a large city in the west. How many are unmarried, do not live in a large city, and do not live in the west? Well, the first thing is to decide how we're going to solve this problem, and when I start seeing lists of numbers and things that correspond, when I see you know they collected data, things like that, I start thinking Venn diagrams. So that's how we're going to solve this problem. The first step is going to be reading through the problem. So let's go ahead and do that line by line and see what information we can find that's really important. So the first line says data including blah 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 we'll get to that later, on 200 recent graduates of Gigantic State University. Now that is the very first thing that jumps out at me. It's super important. And that tells me that 200 is our universe. And so we're going to draw a large box and we're going to say universe equals 200. And all universe means is this is the total number of things that we counted. And in this case we counted 200 people. So that's pretty handy. Let's keep going on. 108 of those people live in the West, and so we're going to go ahead and use different colors for this. And I'm going to use a red for the West. And I just got to get that in my uh, in my picture here. And so we're going to say that red is West, and let me go ahead and label that. That's West, and that is 108 people. So really useful to draw things out as we read them. Um, so the next one is 86 live in a large city, and we're going to make those people blue. 86 people live in a large city. So let me go ahead and bring that over. Whoops, not where I wanted it. Make sure I'm in the right place when I do that. So those people are right here. And let me go ahead and label them again. And so those are people in a large city, and that is 86. And finally, 68 are married. And we're going to go ahead and use yellow to symbolize those people. And let me go ahead and bring that over. And those people are down here. And again, let me, let me label them. And they are married. And there are 68 of those people. Now the first thing I want to point out here is that this means that all of this blue area is 86. All of this yellow area is 68. You know, all of this red area is 108. And so that means the these overlap right here and, and we need to care about that. That's kind of a big deal. But we'll get to that here in a minute. So we know that 41 of these people live in the west in a large city. So that's this area right here. So let's go ahead and label that. So that's right there, and that's West Intersection Large City, right? And that's 41. Okay, 23 are married and live in a large city, and those are the people who are right here, right? We know that. So let's go ahead and label them. That's Large City Intersection Married, and that is 23. And then finally, we know that 19 are married and live in the West, and that's this whole area right there. Let's go ahead and label that too, and that is married intersection West. And uh, I'm running out of room, so pardon my messiness. Hopefully you can read that. And then finally, 12 are married and live in a large city and are in the West. And that's the section here in the middle. That's where all three of these things 
um, overlap and so let me trace that exact shape that is a very important part of this so I'm gonna go ahead and label that and I'm just gonna kinda go over everything else but I'm gonna trace it too and that is 12 and that is west intersection large city intersection married okay so okay so we wrote down everything we know and you may be wondering what does this do for us well let's see what the question is asking first so reading through the problem I see that the question is how many are unmarried do not live in a large city and do not live in the west and so first things first let's let's go ahead and shade in you know what that area is and that's that's this green area and that's what they're asking for they're asking for the complement here the thing that does not fit in any of those other categories and so you know how are we going to find that well let's go ahead and start working on it and I think we'll be able to find it pretty easily so the first thing I want to do is kinda narrow down these overlaps and I want to find the people who are in the west and in a large city but who are not married and so that's gonna be this little section right here that I just shaded in so let's go ahead and figure that out let's see that is they're in the west intersection with large city intersection with not married and that's that's what that little little uh, comma there or um, per, that little mark there we're gonna say mark that's what that means that means the complement of people who are married so that means the people who are not married that's what that little me mark means not and so let's figure that out so we know the people who are in the West and the people who are in a large city and that number is 41 they gave it to us right there so that's gonna be 41 and so we don't need to subtract this whole number because all we care about is this little bit that overlaps right this is an intersection so we only care about that bit right there and so that's gonna be 12 so that's 41 minus 12 and once you do that that equals 29 okay so what else do we need well we need people who are in a large city and who are married but who are not in the west and so that's this area I'm shading in right here super exciting I know so let's go ahead and so the people who are in a large city intersection with married intersection with not west and we know that the people who are at the intersection of large city and married are 23 and again we want to subtract 12 because those are the things that all three overlap and, and that's kinda what we care about here and so 23 minus 12 is 11 so we're, we're getting pretty far in this problem let's let's keep on going so how about the people who are married and in the west but are not in a large city and so that that'd be this section right here right so let's go ahead and subtract that and so that is married intersection with west intersection with not large city and that is 19 minus 12 and that equals 7 so we figured out some overlaps we figured out the this area and this area and this area so I think what we need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to bright green again we're gonna go to this area and we're gonna try to figure that out and then we're gonna try to figure out this pro area and then we're gonna try to figure out this area so having cleared that off where do we need to go next well I think we need to figure out this area right here the people who are in the west who are not in a large city and who are not married and because we figured out this area and this area and we know this area this should be pretty easy so let's go ahead and just go ahead and do it so this is gonna be the people who are in the west intersection with the people who are not in a large city intersection with the people who are not married and so this is going to be 108 minus and so you know we know the people who are married and in the west but in, not in a large city we, we know them they're right there so let's go ahead and plug that in and that is this one right there and what is that equal to that is equal to I, I gotta remember seven and let's see we also know the people who are in the west and in a large city but not married and so that's that's this right here so let's go ahead and plug that in and that is west large city and not married and that's that one and so that's 29 right and of course we need to subtract the people who are in all three so that's 12 right because we only want to count them once and so when you do the math you do 108 minus 7 minus 29 minus 12 that gives you I can't write a 660 
Okay, okay, well, I, I, th I think I buy that. I hope you buy that. So let's go ahead and go up here, and now we're going to figure out the people who are in this area. The people who are in a large city, but not in the west and not married. So this should be pretty easy. So this is large city, not in west, not married. And so, and so uh, we know the people who are in the large city. The total number of people in the large city is 86. And from that, we're going to subtract the people who are in the west and in a large city. These people right here. So that's west, large city, not married. And that, that's right here, right? We know that. So that's, that's 29, if I remember correctly. And then we're going to subtract the people who are in a large city and married, but not in the west. And that's that's this area right here. And you might you might be getting tired of me going over and over that, but I think it's really important to understand that. So um, that would be 11, right? We figured that out. Minus, again, 12. You always have to subtract that bit in the middle. We're going to add it back in at the end, but we got to make sure we only add it in once. And so when you do 86 minus 29 minus 11 minus 12, you get 34. Okay, so, so we figured out two out of the three areas, and uh, now we need to figure out this area right here. The people who are married but not in the West and not in a large city. So again, you know, this is married, not in West, not in large city, and so we know that the total pe number of people married is 68, and from that we're going to subtract the people who are in the West and married but not in a large city. Oops, I used the wrong number. From that, we're going to subtract the people who are married and in the West, but not in a large city, and that is 7. And then we're going to subtract the people who are in the large city and married, but not in the West, and that is um, 11 right there. Super exciting. And again, we're going to subtract 12. And I didn't show you on the Venn diagram. You should be kind of getting a feel for what we're doing here. I, I'm hopeful, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you are. It's, it's a little hard, but you'll be okay. And so when you figure that out, that equals 38. So let's see what we need to do next. I'm thinking what we need to do next is we need to come up here and we need to start adding everything together. I know what we want to find is this area I'm shading in green right now. But we can't do that with what we've got. I mean, we kind of could, but it'd be it'd be super gross. The easiest way to do what we need is to find this area here, this this glob of data that we've got, and subtract it from the universe, and that would give us the complement. So let's let's go ahead and uh, figure that out. Um, the trick to this is just to start adding all your numbers together. So that's going to be 60 plus 34 plus 38 plus 7 plus 29 plus 11 plus 12 and so this ensures you know these are all of these numbers right we we have our 60 we have our 34 we have our 38 we have our 29 our 11 our 7 we need to go ahead and add all those together and of course we need to not forget the bit in the middle and so what we're doing here, just to reiterate a little graphically, um, is we're going to add this part, and this part, and this part, and then we're going to add this part to it, and this part, and this part, and then finally this part in the middle. And by doing that, hit the wrong button again, um, by doing that, we'll, this will let us go ahead and figure out you know, what that value is that we need that that's that whole chunk of data right there so let's go ahead and go down here and let's let's do the math so uh, 60 plus 34 plus 38 plus 7 plus 29 plus 11 plus 12 um, I don't expect you to do that you know straight in your head without any problems but you could figure that out and that would be 191 and so that's all the people who are either in the West or in a large city or married or any combination of the above and in that number we are ensuring that we are only counting everybody once and that's that's the important part we're only counting people once and so now what are we going to do to find the complement we're going to subtract that number from the universe so the universe is 200 minus 191 and so that gives us our answer of 9 that is the number of people who are not married or in the west 
or you know anything else. So let's go ahead and zoom out so you can kind of see the whole problem. It's not that much work. It's just a lot of little math. And so again, you know, what we've done is we we've taken this whole universe and we've subtracted this bit in the middle from it. And that has given us the answer which is this area here. And that answer, just to reiterate, is 9. These kinds of problems, they're not the hardest problems in the world, but they can be a little bit tricky. So the best way to figure out these problems and to do well is to go ahead and do these problems over and over. Find a couple of different ones and just draw some different Venn diagrams and practice because that's what's going to make this easy for you.